G'day! In today's video, I've got the ASUS ZenBook Flip S. That one has the model number UX371E. And this particular one is going to get an assembly swap. What do I mean by that? We're cracked up here. This whole bit is going on new. So we'll be doing a full panel swap on here. Which means I will be disconnecting the battery, which is what I do recommend when you do a screen swap. Well, by panel swap, I mean top assembly and panel. You can get the panel by itself, but for pretty much perfect fitment, fitment and no real issues, hopefully, of it coming out, it's just easier to go with the whole swap. Now, it looks like I'm going to need a T4 screwdriver. Yep. So that's one T4 screw. Yep, T4. I'll let you know if any of these screws are of different length right now. They're all looking the same. Go. So far, so good. A couple of different coloured screws. No, it's just the angle that I'm seeing them at. I am curious if there's any screws hidden under the feet here. I feel like there might be. That one there was different length. Now, let's try and pry that up slightly. Right. That popped it. We'll switch to a plastic pry tool. And see how this comes apart. something there. It's like this is separate here. I want to just need to pop it and pull it back. There we go. That did it. All plastic. Reinforced plastic around the outer perimeter. But that bottom is plastic. I'll put that off to the side. Next up I want to disconnect the battery. Let's zoom you guys in so you see what I'm doing. And I will point out the things as I go through them. This metal silver bit I'll push forward. And then I'll pull this tab up. Battery disconnected. Next up for me, I want to disconnect here and here. I'll we'll start with here, being I just pointed that out. My favourite thing, a pair of tweezers. Slide that under this little pull tab. No, I'm not. There we go, lift up. There we go. Next up we have four screws. Now, it would, it would overall be cheaper just to buy the panel by itself. I thought for the price of about an extra, I think it was an extra 50 bucks, I'd much rather go up the easier method of just purely doing the whole assembly. Especially sometimes when damage is done on these thin and lightweight machines, where when the damage is done, it also dints the frame and then makes these thin bezel relatively thin bezel screens. If there's a small push in there, the glass isn't gonna compress. You're gonna bend it out and it's gonna be shoddy. And it's not gonna be as good of a finish as it could possibly be. This sticker lifts up and pulls back. There we go. That should be able to fold. I should just be able to fold this forward and this should slip out like so. Move this one out of the way. Grab the next one. Fold this forward and hopefully not break it in the process. Those hinges are a bit stiffer. Next I should be able to pull this tab off here. Just like it was pinched off the production line. Now I should be able to fold this. Basically have it at 90 degrees, and then try and slip it under. There we go. We're under. 
Next I should be able to fold these back. Should be able to line it up, push. Yep, line it up and push. There we go. Now it's a matter of reversing the installation process. I'll start with the hinges, then the cable. Magnetic screwdriver definitely helps with the reinstall. Go. Go. Here. I'm just going to fold this back. I'm going to push it in under the groove and then pull the sticker over the top. Uh, might be easier for that. Yeah, I believe this is mainly for the webcam and the front sensors. And we go like that. And then like that. And that should be good. Next up, moving over here. Just be able to push this down. It should almost make a click crunch sound to it. Sorry, I'll go over that again. So once you've put your four screws back in, the silver shiny one goes to the left, the black ones go to the right. This should line up over the top. You should be able to wiggle it just slightly. Once it's lined up, you should be able to wiggle it just slightly and it should kind of lock into position. Push down, that should lock it. There we go. And then next up, we have to reconnect the battery. That just pushes down and over the top and in, and then this little latch pulls back over and covers it up, like so. Next up from here, we've got the bottom cover, where we'll be putting back in those screws, or the T4 screws. Should be able to go click, 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 click. There we go. Push down the guts of it as well. I think there's a couple of clips around this area. Next up, should be right to put these in. It's a matter of working around and putting the T4s back in. With hopefully a magnetised T4 screwdriver. Not like what I've got right here. There we Nearly done. And from there, hopefully, your Vivo book is all good. There. All replaced. And from there, this should hopefully swing open happily. Like so. All good. Hope that helps you. And see you later.